It's time to meet an actual mm. uh, legend. This man mm. represented Australia 35 times uh, during the 1970s. His transfer, he was at one time uh, the m record, the most expensive goalkeeper Australia's ever had. He was a member of the 1974 FIFA World Cup squad. He's been on the committees of the FFA and FIFA. He's an absolute legend of the game in Australia. Can you please welcome the man himself, Mr Jack Riley. <laughs> It's actually 74, that's 40 years ago. It's, it's quite incredible to think about I that. was only 10 at the time. <laughs> yeah, you're a very young man. Uh, so this time, 40 years ago, how would, how would you have been preparing for the World Cup? Is it, uh, is it the same as the, the way we prepare now? No, Santo, it started with a, uh, a trip around the world. Uh -huh. uh, it went for approximately four and a half weeks. We played 16 games. In the uh, lead-up, so in, in the lead-up. So you uh, leave Australia. This is in 19, This is 1972. Oh, okay, yep. And the first game started in New Caledonia. The yep. final game was in Mexico City. Jeez. Sixteen games in uh, six weeks, wow. uh, four and a half weeks, sorry. And uh, that was the start of a That's real the... World Cup campaign. Did wow. Raleigh Rasich, at the time, who was your coach, did he had he already picked the squad, or were you all still vying to to try uh, and play? Everybody had a pretty fair idea that they would be in the squad, and that that uh, four and a half weeks made and broke many and, people. And to, and to try and get the advantage, I mean, these days you, you you move players from economy to business. Did you guys go like from smoking to non-smoking? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what kind? What kind? Of, what what kind luxuries of... <laughs> did you have? <laughs> luxuries. Was that first uh, class all the way? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. I mean, we went to the World Cup. Uh, on a fee that is approximately one fortieth of what the players will get wow. to go to Brazil. Uh -huh. And what we forget is at that point of time, totally part-time team. So you had another on, job. What was your other job? Uh, I run money market companies, and there's a story in that. You I, a money market? Money market companies, yes. Uh, and you were getting I, paid a fortieth of what they're getting now. Yeah. No, no, uh, uh, for football. For oh, football. Right. Uh, but in the money market, I, I controlled the liquidity base of the system through the Council of Authorised Money Market Dealers. I'd just taken a wow. huge <laughs> lot... Sorry, I didn't hear you. Sorry, my brain exploded. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I had just taken a massive loss because we took out a Treasury note tender. It went against us. 1974, a $4 million loss. That was a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I went to the World Cup to enjoy myself. Yeah. Forget about what I'd left behind yeah, yeah. and let those that were there fix the problem. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, <laughs> bring down the economy, go overseas. <laughs> it was fantastic for me. Yeah. Uh, and But we had many, many part-time players. Yeah. The bulk of them were. And what we forget is that 90-odd percent of that team were other than Australian-born. Yeah. The team now is basically all Australian-born. Yeah. So the naysayers who say that nothing has been done, they should really look at history and where we are right now. Yeah. What we've got to do to go from here is give Ange Postacoglio basically carte blanche to get as many of the young players that we've got coming through the system, go to the World Cup and then play in the Asian Cup and put the game right back up where it belongs. Mm. Jack, I'll read between the lines there and think that you think modern-day players should have a job on the side. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I wanted, you mentioned Ange and you mentioned the current uh, day. Just to link the two, you're, in 1974, the three games you played, I, don't, I only want to focus on one of them because you played West Germany and East Germany. Yes. And as Ed pointed out to me earlier, they're not in countries anymore. They don't so, exist anymore. Exactly. So, 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 that? But against <laughs> Chile, though... Nil all draw. No You're all in draw. goal. Yes. You kept a clean sheet. Yes. That is a result that we would take quite happily in yeah, this year's World Cup. World Cup. Very much so. And it is forgotten that West Germany went on to win the World Cup. Yeah, exactly. We all know what East Germany were on at that point in time. <laughs> and, uh, no, we don't, Jack. Please tell us. <laughs> Could, did, you, did you know at the time, Jack, what... Did oh, you know uh, who you were playing? Yep. No, I never forget going on to the training ground before the game against East Germany. I saw this team do 40 50 metre sprints in a warm up. Yeah. And I thought, hmm, mm. they're going to be tired by the time they go on the field. Believe me, they were only warmed up.
Oh, wow. Also, traditionally, when uh, a player's urine is blue, yeah, that's, that's another, a, that's that's another that's a second giveaway. Another sign. That's another sign. <laughs> so, so Jack, I mean, a lot is said about the, the last time. Well, a lot is said about our golden generation, two thousand and six. Sure. Uh, now, a lot of those guys haven't quite moved on, and and in a way, you, you're looking at them, going, maybe on form, they should still be there. Is in your mind? I mean, you, you've you've seen a lot of football over the years. What should happen? How do you turn people around? How do you keep how do you keep the team fresh? Well, now is the time for to do it. Right. There is no doubt in the world. We went into the wilderness after 1974, 32 years in the wilderness. We cannot afford to do that again. We must now bring the young players through. There are still uh, players of the golden age who have got a lot to offer, a lot. Let them continue to do it basically from afar. Mm -hmm. uh, and let people refer to them and come back to them. But as far as 90 minutes on the ground, We've got to change our whole thinking. I think we've, got, we've gone a long way to do it and in, in the last few weeks. Let's hope we continue. Jack, I did want to ask you one thing. You, you, you're, you're a friend of uh, Sepp Blatter and you, you, you have worked within the FIFA organisation. Sure. What, what, what is the world's view or FIFA's view of Australia? How, 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 are, how are we perceived? I can tell you right up front. I, only two weeks ago I had 50 minutes one-on-one -on -one with Sepp Blatter. And mm -hmm. he Can said, you mention our show? Absolutely. <laughs> I said. I said, look, stop talking about it and then we'll get back to business. <laughs> yeah. right. But, I, you know, just very, very quickly on youth. Don't forget, 11 years ago, West Germany, West Germany, Bundesliga, they went to the World Cup with a team average age 21.1. They're one of the favourites for this coming World Cup. Oh. We must all look at the youth of the game and how we can best bring them through. Yeah. And that's happening all of the time. That's but Sepp Blatter has got a very, very fair view of Australia. He believes that we should be re leading the Asian Confederation. Yeah, uh, I believe that as well. Yeah. I think the quicker we do it, the better. Yeah. Uh, I look forward very, very much to the Asian Cup. Yeah. Uh, well, do, you know, do you know that Sam's an ambassador? And should be. Why? <laughs> should be. What's he ever done? In fact, you just <laughs> that, car, that car crash, he had the little flags. Yeah. Yeah. Like the car. Look, you, you see the games that have been played in the last two weeks. That's going back to a 30 million television audience. Imagine what the television audience is going to be for the Asian Cup. Yeah. Let's make sure I'm working with the Victorian government at the moment to try and get 200 of Asia's top businessmen here prior to the opening ceremony and the first game. It is a huge opportunity well, for the country. Jack, we could, we, you've got to come back because we could do... You've only scraped the surface of all, at all the wonderful things that you know about football. We're so happy that you're here. But we do have a segment that we were... Oh, don't, no, don't look at us like that. It's not that bad. <laughs> that, um, that we thought you might like. Now, so, yeah. Sammy, would um, you want... Well, well it's, it's called... My, it's called, it's called well, How's the Misses, right? Yeah. And it's, a, it's normally done... Oh, well, have you got... Oh, oh God, yeah. I'm, I'm, well, you know, I know well, last well, time. Well, I'll well, do it again. Well, 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 because, uh, because in honour of Jack, in surely Jack, it's not, uh, that's not the right Jack's hat. Jack's Scottish. He's not Cockney. So oh, I think yeah. you should do it with uh, a different hat. Can you have that hat here? So, yeah, so take it away. And I just wonder whether you can actually judge Sam on how good he's... Scottish accent. Yeah. Absolutely, no problem. Okay, okay. Jack, so this, one's time for, for? this one's for you, Jack. Now it's time for <laughs> Who's the Misses? Okay. <laughs> so far, so good. Oh, yes. uh, no, 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 no. Please, please, okay. it gets worse. All right, shall we? Uh, All right, we'll right, go, let's Jack. Go. Can you tell us what you think uh, of our accents? Let's give it a go. Here we go. All right, take it away, Sammy. Hooga Manandi. All right. <laughs> Monkey bastard. Uh, <laughs> what kind of Misses? <laughs> Skig the wish the bush stood. What? What's that? Oh, you minky bush <laughs> oh. You're gonna make me do that? Sam, uh. Sam. I miss it. Hold on, please. <laughs> and that was. And that and was. And that was. Who's the missus? Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. What did you, what did you think I'm of going, that? I'm going straight out tomorrow to get you a kilt apiece. <laughs> ah. But far fae thy honest sons he face. Great chieftain o' the pudding race. I've been them all, you attack your place. Perch, tripe, and therm. Will are thee worthy o' oh, grace? As long's my arm. To a haggis, Robert Burns. That's Scottish. All right. That is Jack Riley. Please thank you. Oh, that is Jack Riley. We'll be back with more title football right after this. Thank you, sir. Fantastic.